Hey you guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, I'm very excited about today's video because I'm going to be sharing with you all of my curriculum favorites for the year of 2021, 2022. We have here in my homeschool about three more months of homeschooling as we're wrapping up this year. I just really wanted to go ahead and uh, make this video to share with you all of our curriculum favorites, uh, what we landed on this year and what actually has made a drastic impact in our homeschool. So if any of you guys are new here to my channel, again, my name is Brittany. I am a homeschooling mom to three girls, ages 10, three, and two, and I'm in my second year of homeschooling. So you guys, uh, I just wanna share with you uh, these curriculum favorites that I have. Uh, I do have a lot more favorites. However, in today's video, I just wanted to go ahead and pick like my top 10 curriculum favorites. Uh, it was really, really hard for me to narrow this down. However, uh, I just did my best to narrow down uh, these uh, curriculums and these resources that I have been really enjoying uh, this homeschooling year. Okay, you guys, my first resource that I have been really enjoying in our homeschool has been these September and Co cards. You guys, I have all three of them. I have the Character Matters in the Bible, the Character Matters in the Home, and also the Character Matters in the World. So it comes in these three sets, and they're on these really cute uh, rings right here. And so far this year, we have been working on the Character Matters in the Bible. And this has been such a great resource for me to uh, use in our Bible in our morning basket. Uh, I really feel like this has amplified our Bible time. I feel like it's always a character we can go back to a memory verse. Uh, I love these affirmations that you're going over with your kid and they're really understanding it and I definitely have seen uh, improvement and growth within not only my daughter's character but mine as well. I have definitely taken away a lot from these Character Matters cards and I'm so happy that I added them in our homeschool and I can't wait for us to go over the other uh, stacks, the ones in the world and in the home, but we are taking our time and this has definitely been like a good resource in our homeschool. Okay, you guys, now on to the curriculum. So um, this is not, these curriculum choices are not in any orders of like top favorite to least favorites. Uh, these are just all of my uh, curriculum favorites. The first one that I'm going to mention is this right here, which is Amazing Africa, which is a heritage pack from uh, Amber O'Neill Johnston. She makes these really beautiful uh, geography and um, great heritage packs uh, in her um, on her website. Uh, this right here is is actually a continent study that goes over the continent of Africa. You are learning about Africa through picture books. And uh, there's three main picture books that goes along as the spine for like the reference books that you're gonna be using. And then it's a lot of other picture books you are gonna be reading as you go through each country. Uh, this right here is a 36 week um, lesson plan. However, uh, you can do this uh, either as fast or as slow as you would like to do it. Um, it is intended for grades one through three. However, as I have went through the content of this material, I believe we are on week 24 right now. Um, I honestly will say uh, this geography study can be for anyone in elementary school, even in middle school, because you're learning so much in here. And I really feel like it just brings uh, just this geography study to life as you are using picture books to learn about uh, different continents within Africa. She has video links that goes along with it, uh, that you are listening and watching uh, tradition African dances. You are watching uh, how they eat their daily routines. Uh, it's just really beautiful. And I really feel like uh, this study has uh, just been a great, uh, just a great addition to our homeschool. Um, my daughter is never, she never fights me when it's time for us to do uh, our geography study. She's so excited. Sometimes I'm tired in the afternoon and I'm like, okay, Brie, I don't want to do it today. And she's like, mommy, please, let's just do it. Let's just watch the video and read one of the books. So um, we have definitely been enjoying our geography study this year uh, through Amazing Africa. I would definitely recommend it. And this pack, you guys, is very affordable. I believe this uh, digital PDF file it's only ten dollars 
all of the books if you have a really good local library you can check them out from the library my local library was not as good however I'm finding that uh, I can do something that's called like inner library loan so some of the books towards the end that I didn't have I was able to get them shipped from other areas in Georgia to my local library and I didn't know about that until recently so um, I was able to get my hands on a few of the picture books that I didn't have but if you have and you are incorporated in a good library system you will have no problem finding all of these uh, beautiful books um, again this is just it's, it was just amazing <laughs> Okay, another highlight in the curriculum choice and favorite in our homeschool has been Fix It Grammar. I know I have not mentioned this and I forgot to mention Fix It, fix it Grammar in my mid-year uh, update, uh, but Fix It Grammar, you guys, it definitely was a great way for my daughter to be able to learn uh, different elements in grammar. She was able to pick up those different parts of speech very, very well uh, as she went through Fix It Grammar. Fix It Grammar actually also helped with uh, vocabulary. Uh, within Fix It Grammar, or they give the kids a sentence and then they have to identify the parts of speech uh, look up the vocabulary word and then rewrite the sentence as they're making their uh, short story fix it grammar actually just recently uh, updated all of their uh, fix it grammar student notebooks and the whole program uh, it's even better now I still have the old one and I still think it's tried and true um, when I was really struggling in language arts, trying to figure out what we were going to do for language arts when our language arts curriculum in the beginning of the year was no longer working for us, Fix It Grammar really just uh, helped me in that time when I was looking for um, another language arts curriculum. I was letting my daughter do Fix It Grammar. Then we were doing some composition writing on our own and it was beautiful. Um, and I definitely love having this uh, in our home as a resource. I really feel like this Fix It Grammar, it really uh, saved us in that time where I was really at a low in our uh, homeschooling year. Now, this curriculum, you guys, is absolutely my daughter's favorite. And this really uh, has been a highlight for her. And I'm so happy I found it. First and foremost, I cannot believe I found this curriculum at the thrift store. This is actually the cheapest piece of curriculum that I own. <laughs> and it is a curriculum that once we started it, it just works so well for my daughter, which is Rod and Staff, Building with Diligence, the Christian English series. And you guys, this old school Mennonite traditional English uh, curriculum, this grammar and composition, has been exactly what my daughter needs. Inside of Rotten Staff, they have um, these oral drills that they give the child or that you will give your child after you read the lesson. They have like a written and mixed practice after you go over the lesson. These grammar lessons, you guys, are very short, very quick, very concise. The teacher's guide that goes along with this, I don't have it here with me, it's downstairs, but the teacher's guide, it really holds your hand if you are new to homeschooling. It just really lets you know the concept that your kid is gonna be learning. It gives you the um, oral review. It really helps helps you teach the kids the grammar concepts. I love how thorough Rod and Staff is. I love how the concepts, they just slowly build and add upon each other. This grammar uh, curriculum or English curriculum is mastery. So you will go through uh, each of the curriculums. You will do your um, each part of speech separately in one chapter. So one chapter is like subjects and predicates. Then second chapter is kinds of sentences. Then you'll go to nouns, verbs, uh, verbs, uh, using verbs correctly. And then you'll go into pronouns, adjectives. So each chapter is a different part of speech. However, it just slowly builds upon each other. And I have definitely seen fruit from this curriculum. Uh, my daughter, she is very, very, she's getting very strong in her grammar. I am noticing it not only through her uh, practicing this, but in her uh, writing. When I have her write in other areas in our homeschool, I'm noticing how it has improved by her doing uh, writing staff. And writing staff, it's, it's, it's old school, it's black and white, but it's straight to the point it's simple it's fast we get through these writing staff lessons in like 20 minutes you guys uh, it's been amazing and this has definitely been a curriculum favorite just across the board now you guys a new curriculum favorite uh, I'm talking about this one right here you guys it's still very new and I cannot wait to give you guys a more thorough review However, we are going in a month right now using this curriculum and it has changed our homeschool. It has allowed my homeschool to be tear free. 
and I can't believe I'm saying this, but yes, I have had not had any tears in a while. I'm gonna knock on wood because hopefully that does not change. But you guys, Saxon Math has saved the day in my homeschool. Um, we use Saxon Math. We just started Saxon Math in January. We use Saxon Math with Nicole the Math Lady and it's just been a beautiful fit. Uh, my daughter, she is understanding math concepts in a way I have not seen before. And you guys, I know Saxon, it's boring. It's black and white. It's dry. It doesn't have any frills or it's not fancy. But you guys, it's solid. It's thorough. It's getting the job done. My daughter is able to do her math lessons within 45 minutes. Um, she actually does the uh, facts practice. She does the um, lesson practice and then we do the odds or evens on the mix practice. And it's been about 45 minutes. It's been amazing. And I'm just hoping that this will just stick with us through the rest of our homeschooling journey. I know I'm asking for a lot, <laughs> but you guys, it's been amazing. And my daughter told me the other day that she loves Saxon math. And I have never heard her tell me she loves a math curriculum. Math is just not her favorite subject. I feel like when it comes to introducing the concepts of math, my daughter, she's kind of hesitant. She struggles a little bit to grasp them, but once she has it and understands it, she is flying and Saxon is giving her that instruction that she needs. It's helping me as a parent to teach her because I love just the thoroughness of the instruction. So if she does watch Nicole the Math Lady and she doesn't understand something, I can go back in and it's easy for me to reteach that concept. However, that has not happened yet. Yet. she comes from watching Nicole the math lady and she's teaching me something new so um we have thoroughly been enjoying Saxon and and this has definitely been a highlight so far as far as my curriculum favorites now my last curriculum favorite I wasn't gonna add this on here because it's still new as well but you guys I have been really enjoying this 180 days of spelling and word study I really love that it. it's combining spelling and word study together uh, so I'm getting my spelling and my vocabulary the words in here uh, they are a little bit more challenging than the words in the Evan Moore building spelling however you guys I love both of those spelling curriculums uh, I had to choose one for this video I, and honestly my choice will be spelling 180 days of spelling and word study. I really like how they're having the kids each day doing something different with the spelling. Uh, they have them using a word bank uh, to be able to fill out and pick which word will go which which meaning so they have to figure out the definition of the word they have them using the uh, voc this, uh, spelling words in sentences uh, they have them doing uh, analogies and that's one thing I really love my daughter doing these like analogies where uh, she may not know the definition of these words however she has a word bank and she has to figure out which um, word will go with these analogies and I really feel like she's becoming very strong in that as well I just like that it's just giving me spelling vocabulary all in one it's simplifying uh, our days and my daughter she definitely needed some more vocabulary practice um, and as we have been going through this spelling and vocabulary it's been beautiful I have been noticing just in her speech she's been saying like more vocabulary words she's been learning and this is definitely uh, it's a keeper again it's black and white it's traditional old-school curriculum it's nothing fancy no frills but my daughter loves it and I kind of am seeing a trend with my daughter, what, what works for her. Um, my daughter, she was public school for uh, kindergarten through half of second grade. So my daughter is used to the traditional form of uh, education. And you guys, I was trying to just pull out and do like all these different fancy frilly type of things. And my daughter, she's just, very black and white she wants to get her work done and then she wants to go on and do things creative uh, outside of her formal academics and that's just what I'm giving her and that's what she enjoys so you guys I really hope you enjoyed today's video I really hope you enjoy seeing all of my curriculum favorites these are just a few I have so many more um, and yeah so you guys thank you so much for watching today's video I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one bye